This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today we're talking about frost resistance. Let's get to it. So in a recent episode of the 100 Day Challenge Let's Play, and if you're not familiar with that and you're not watching it, I'll link it down in the description. You should totally go check that out. I had made frost resistance potions and on top of that I got the wolf cape and I made the statement that I was holding on to the frost resistance potions because I wanted to use them with motor. So a bunch of people started to comment, well, you have the wolf cape, you don't really need the frost resistance potions anymore. Now, I was under the impression that the clothing, so for example, the lox cape, the wolf cape, stuff like that, only gave you resistance to the cold. It didn't actually reduce the damage. And I was also under the impression that if you wanted damage reduction towards frost damage, that you needed to drink the frost resistance potion. So I went to the wiki just to double check and the wiki backs up this theory. It doesn't mention anything about reducing frost damage when you're wearing the cape and it mentions reducing frost damage for the potions. So needless to say, after all of this, I decided, well, testing needs to be done. So that's what I did and that's what this video is about. So before we get into all the details on the testing, let me break down how I did the testing. I needed the most consistent damage numbers possible. So I had my good friend Shadow make a character and then use the admin commands to level his bow skill up to 100. I gave him a maxed out fine wood bow and then a bunch of frost arrows so that he could shoot me with them. For each of the tests, that I did with different armor setups and stuff like that, I had him shoot me three times. Now, because I was averaging the numbers, having him shoot me more than three times would have been better, but three times I felt was enough for me to get an idea about how much damage it's going to do on average. So I took each of those three shots that he hit me for each test that we did, and I averaged them together. And then I just rounded or simplified those. So for example, if the damage was 83, it was now 80. If it was 84, it was 80. If it was 66, it was 60. So I just simplified the numbers. That way it gave us a good estimation and a good example of how much damage reduction we were getting. Well, about how much damage reduction we were getting. If things stacked, if things didn't stack, all of that good stuff. I wasn't looking for actual like, hey, it gives you an exactly 10% damage reduction, blah, 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 all that, because due to the fact that we get varying amounts of damage when we hit, makes it kind of hard to get those exact amounts, and I really wasn't worried about that. For these tests, I just wanted to know, do we get a reduction, does it stack, and how much does armor matter? Now, part of the reason I explain all this to you is because I want you to know how I did it so that you could do your own testing if you wanted to. This helps confirm my results and also kind of helps prove that some of the stuff on the wiki is wrong. For example, the wiki states that the frost resistance potion gives you a varying amount of damage reduction based on how much armor you have, and that's not the case. It seems to be a flat percentage amount of damage reduction. It doesn't really matter how much armor you have because the armor itself gives Gives you increased damage reduction to the damage that you're taking whether it's frost damage or not but if you have high armor and you have the potion or you're wearing one of the clothing it helps reduce the damage even more so let's start talking about some of these numbers here so i had him shoot me butt naked it butt naked he did 100 damage now once again these are the simplified numbers that we're going to be talking about here and not the exact numbers. For our heavy armor test, just to see how much of a difference armor made, I used the full padding armor. So I had a full set of that on, damage was 30. Just the iron chest, and I'll explain why I did just the iron chest here in a little bit. Just the iron chest, our damage was 90. So then I went on to the wolf cape. Wolf cape damage was 80. Lox cape damage was 80. Wolf chest was 60. Wolf chest with the cape was 60. Wolf chest with the lox cape was 60. And the iron chest with the wolf cape was 60. Now the reason I did the iron chest and it was upgraded and I made sure it had exactly 20 armor. That is because the level one wolf chest has 20 armor. So wearing the wolf chest, which has 20 armor and the frost resistance, brings the damage down to 60. So right there, you can see a big reduction in damage because the wolf chest has the damage reduction for the frost resistance on it, and on top of that, the 20 armor. So if you just have 20 armor and you get hit by frost damage, or pure frost damage, you're taking 90. If you have the wolf chest, which also has the frost resistance on it, you're taking 60. 
The interesting thing here is just wearing one thing that gives you frost resistance, so the wolf cape, lox cape, and nothing else, very little armor, they only give you one armor, brings the damage down to 80. So our base damage is 100, so it gives us a total of 20 damage reduction. But if you have the wolf chest, which gives you that additional 20 armor and the frost resistance, it brings it down to 60 for a total damage reduction of 40. Now remember, if we just have the 20 armor and none of the frost resistance, we only get a damage reduction of 10. But the other interesting thing is that if you have the full padding on and you drink a frost potion, you only take 20 damage. Now remember, without the frost potion, we only took 30 damage. So there we're only getting a damage reduction of about 10. However, if we wear the iron chest, which remember only has 20 armor on it, and we drink a frost potion, that brings the damage down to 60, which is the same as if we were wearing the wolf chest. Now, while we're talking about this, keep in mind that none of this stuff stacks. So if you wear the wolf chest and the wolf cape, you take 60. You wear the wolf chest, the lox cape, I just wanted to make sure that because it wasn't the same set, maybe it would stack. It doesn't, still took 60. If we wear the iron chest and the wolf cape, we have that resistance there, we take 60. And we see the same results with the frost potion. If you drink the frost resistance mead, it's the exact same thing and the exact same results that you would get if you were wearing just the wolf cape, minus that single armor that you get. But I don't think that single armor makes a whole lot of difference when it comes to getting hit with stuff that's frost level damage. Because at that point, you're looking at much higher tier stuff that's hitting for a lot harder. That one armor isn't going to make a whole lot of difference. In conclusion, the wolf cape, the lox cape, the wolf chest, and the frost resistance mead do not stack. You only need to pick one if you are dealing with freezing temperatures or if you are dealing with something that does frost damage. It also appears to be percentage based, which is why when we have higher amounts of armor, we see less reduction than when we do not. You do, however, get to a point where you can have high enough armor that you negate most damage from lower level things frost attacks. I also want to point out that the slowdown debuff that you get when you get hit with a frost attack, the length of that is a based off of how much damage you take. So the more damage you take, the longer that's going to be. You can see this really easy by getting hit with something that does the slowdown attack without wearing any armor, then just put a bunch of armor on and make sure nothing has the frost resistance. You'll see a drastic decrease in the amount of time that it lasts. If you're going into an area with freezing temperatures, a fire or campfire, bonfire, any of those can prevent the freezing temperatures from affecting you. You won't lose any health over time. This does not do anything if you get hit with a frost attack. So for example, if you get wet and you stand near a campfire, the time that you are wet will tick down really, really fast simulating your drying off. This does not happen to the slow buff. It ticks normal. Also note that if you are wet, you will take increased damage from frost attacks, whether you have frost resistance or not. I tested this really simply by wearing the full set of padded armor with the wolf cape, letting a drake hit me a few times. It was doing like three, four damage. It started to hit me after I was wet and I was taking damage in the 30s. So you get a massive increase in damage if you are wet taking frost damage. All right, I think that pretty much covers everything. If you have any questions or anything like that, let me know down in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. And I don't just cover Valheim, I cover all kinds of different stuff. Just so happens Valheim's the feature game on the channel right now, so I'm covering it the heaviest. I want to give a absolutely massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.